I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of sh come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Right, good morning. We're up early. What was left over, We're on his way to the Mega Match this. In life that has At the glee. Are the <clears> you gotta work for, so, me. So let's get there. Let's see what pick we get drawn. I don't play. We can qualify for the Mega Match just nice to be on the bank again so let's get there now and see what peg we sour take a cold shower scream until you're louder work until you're prouder and all the doubters they're just your downers i swear to god they all let me down i always fought just to wear the crown i'm off at these fucking clowns right we're on the way down we've got to send a bit of a drink for the way down it is a Pacino Starbucks chilled coffee and uh, there's some more in it I can't get it out though but not the greatest so not the best Scooby snack for the way down but hopefully I'll get to that breakfast place which is quite nice just on the lay by not got far to go now so come on breakfast is on the way I'm just telling you to fight for your dreams But it's not what it seems Man, it's hard to be seen When everybody wants to be king Yeah, they all wanna ring Yeah, we all wanna be free So show me what you got, what you bring How you fight in the ring How you take a f***ing swing Do you got heart? Are you mean? Got some scars, got some needs Are you willing to go weak? I swear to God, they all let me die Right, just finished the lovely breakfast as I can one of the best breakfast going down here at the Glee with us now on side so let's get there it's only 10 minutes from here so uh, it won't take us that long so uh, let's get to the uh, main event Hi Jason. I'm alright. I know the fish is a bit, but you know, could you got for David Woods? Don't write it off. Let me get his number. Yeah. Don't write it off though, we know these things. He screwed it up. 73. Yes. Keep hold of it, Jason. Jason, just in case you forget, he left his kit there. Dave Wood. Dave Wood, got you, David. Let me know what you got. Right, mate. <laughs> Thank you for that one. What have you got, Dave? Uh, eight hundred and twelve. One hundred and twelve. Right, Very good. I've won a few matches at this.
are a seagull. Caught me in that seaside. Right. So I've just had a chat with uh, Jason. He's on the same peg as he drew yesterday. Really fancies it. We've got Sam Brown here, just behind this tree. He really fancies it, but I am just down here. So he says, park your car there because a tractor might fly around. I said to that fellow, is it all right parking there? He said, yeah, sun cream. So, this is where this guy is, regular he says. So this is a pleasure peg. Really good peg, that one. And then I'm on here. This is pool eight. And this is one, one, two. This is where I am. So, everyone's in a corner on this lake as you can see one corner there one corner there one corner over there and then one corner here then i'm in the middle no one in that middle though so but this is the plan anyway so a lot of people are saying fish short fish short so i'll just tell you the plan quiet quietly so i'm gonna fish down there with paste I'm gonna fish top two, top, we top two, we paced. Also, I've got a pellet rig as well, on the same line. Then, I'm gonna chuck a little feeder to that stick up there. Um, and keep pinging it with eight mils, that. Because, the, the theory behind that is, spare peg across, got all that open space. I'm in the middle, you see. So they can only fish to the sides. And if all the fish go into the middle, then they might come on that feeder line, bomb line one, I'm gonna ping eight mils over that. Um, and then I've, I have set up down there, just in case, if that side goes iffy, but people are telling me the left side's better. So I'm gonna concentrate on the left side, and if it's crap, then I'll go down this side. So we're all set up. I've got, check these daddies out. These are the pace floats. XK55 pace floats from Mida. 4x12. They're lovely. I've got two of them on. Um, and then I've just got a pellet one, which is the MW range. And then I've got a couple of muggers set up just in case. But that's the main attack. And then I've got my two rods. Both reactor core. One pellet waggler, one method feeder. But it isn't a method feeder. You've got to have a... Uh, 15 inch up length so it's set up on a conventional feeder but that's got a bomb on it at the minute and then you've got to have a look up length on it so you can't fish a method bait wise uh, got eight mils got a few maggots micros six mils um, and then i've got my paste which is it's just doing, I'm gonna add a bit more water to that. And that's just green, special G green, fantastic paste mix. So that's all the stuff. That's what we set up with. We're looking for 250 pound. So it's about time we got his nets in. So I'm gonna get my nets in and then hopefully just put a bit more water on my paste and that's it. Hopefully we'll have a good day. Um, I just wanted to say as well that um, massive thanks to everybody who's watching the videos and if you've not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Jackson said to me, if you get so many subscribers, why don't you get a tattoo or uh, keep on bagging on your arm? I'm like, Pfft, no. Um, but if I get over 20,000 subscribers, which I'm on at the moment, I think about 12. And he says, oh, 20, 20, you'll easily get 20. So if I get 20,000 subscribers, I might get a tattoo or keep on bagging on my arm. So if we can all subscribe, that would be fantastic. And if we do get to 20,000, then I've got to get it. And I've said it now, live. So, right, that's it. I'm going to concentrate on the match. See you soon. Right, well, we're all about ready. Should be a minute to go. 
So I'm going to start just in front of me and then we'll go from there. Try and keep it as simple as we can. <clears throat> Catch loads of fish. about time.
Cha -cha. snake has just come out of them weeds and he's off I'll see if I can get that he's going down there bye bye snake well I've chucked a little feeder to that rope I'll keep firing 8 mils over it but I 
a free forecast now. Nothing to think. I'm gonna sack it off. Keep feeding it just in case. Uh, and come back on me first. I'm gonna go down this edge and see if it's all there. It's not uh, one a chuck, but we've had a few. It's not going at all, so I'm going to sack it off. Let's get back to that place.
Right, well that's the end of the match. Sorry I didn't uh, get to film down the edge but my battery, uh, my battery ran out and then I've had to mess about and put a new battery in later on so anyway we finished the match. I'm just having a bit of pork pie look. Look at that beauty. Mm. Excuse me. People don't like it when I eat, talk and eat. Eat and talk. So, uh, bomb and, and feeder to that uh, rope has been dreadful. Down the edge, I've had about four or five foul lookers and I caught about three or four down the edge. But they've not been coming in great. Um, and my best line has been paced at about six meters and I've caught quite well on there I think I've got about 22 carp that's what I think I've got five five yeah I got about 22 carp I think but the guy in the corner he's done really well and the guy across there he's done really well the guy this side of me is packed up uh, he's done all right as well we've all got we've all got decent weight I think um, but I think he's he's done me he says he's got 100, 130 on clicker but I'm going to enjoy this bit of pork pie, get tackled up um, and that's it really, the best line's been that, De definitely on paste um, been a nice day, nice change, cheers Right, we just got in the car, that has been a hot one, didn't think it was going to be that hot, thought it was going to be about 20 degrees but it's got up to about 25, 26 degrees. Anyway, I've had a really nice day just catching on the paste as I said earlier on. Uh, so he, eat your heart out, Lee Werrant and Craig Tiswell, the paste daddy number two, eh? Not really but uh, they're great paste anglers. First time I've done it in a long time. I, we used to do it ages ago. Me and my brother used to paste fish up quite a lot. But um, yeah, it's nice to uh, have a go. And uh, that's all I could really do on that peg. We fished the pole. I tried, like I said, I tried chucking a bomb over to that rope, but no good. Anyway, the corners did well. The guy to my left of it packed up. The guy up the other side had 60 pound. So. This guy to the right of me in the corner, he had, excuse me, 128 pound, and the lad across had 117, and then I had 107 or 106, I think. So, third on the lake, not end up world, but lost quite a lot of fish, but everybody who I've talked to has lost loads of fish. Um, just think it's been one of them days where there's been a lot of fish lost and there were a few cruising about but I just couldn't they weren't interested at all um, but that pace has been really good to be honest I've really really bagged up on it on that six meter line at, at one stage I was just getting whack you know what I mean it was quite nice fishing so so yes give give the pace a go it's um, really good on them carp waters I think the guy in the corner chucked a little bomb out and he was getting a few on bomb but mine just weren't going round but anyway on the other lake um, Sam Brown we admitted to about 200 pound he, he's ended up weighing 140 or something being knocked back in both for his, his nets 
so he could add a lot more so we think <clears throat> he's won it with 240 well done Sam if you have if you haven't I don't know the results but I will put them up for you now if I get them um, I'm sure they'll put them up so I'll let you know who's won but my mate Jason Durango he watches he watches these so thanks for watching Jason hope you enjoy it mate and uh, he's done well he's had 199 pound you're admitting to 200 so he no idea how you've how you've nailed that straight on mate you must be an absolute uh, legend at uh, knowing what fish weigh crack is that in it I'm always miles off me I don't know what I've got we're absolutely gagging for a drink so I've just stopped off at the services check that out I don't know what it is but fancy drink you put it in this little machine and it does it for you and then it comes out and it looks absolutely fantastic for real it's called a for real milkshake lovely anyway let's get back to what we were saying so that's it Craig Tiswell he said he's had 120 or 30 um, there's been quite a few decent weights at 100 and, 150 pounds sort of thing so we're not too far off it but um, really enjoyed that today so that's it uh, a massive thank you to all the members that have joined recently loads and loads of member videos on there over 120 videos if you want to become a member hit the join button pick which option you prefer and just become a member and you get all them videos free um, and if you want to give me a super like then you can do it's just in the bottom section where the thumbs up is it'll say super like and you can donate on there and give us a super like that'd be fantastic please subscribe up to the videos Jackson, hey Jackson we're, we're talking and he did say he said oh He'd seen some on this video or something and he says, oh look, if someone says they get get over 20,000 subscribers, you'll be able to leave your job and all this stuff and, and uh, all, all this. And I said, all right, well, if I get 20,000 subscribers then, I'll get a tattoo what says keep on bagging. So, I'm on 12,000 subscribers. If I can get up to 20,000 subscribers, I'll get a tattoo saying keep on bagging. So, make sure you subscribe. And if we can just get the word around, make sure you subscribe up to bag up tv and i'll get this tattoo then bit of fun in it and uh, that were jackson's uh, input so thanks a lot jackson for getting you know if i do get up to 20,000 subscribers i'll be getting a tattoo so cheers mate um yes that is it um what else what else what else what else the Angling Times was out, I was in the Angling Times, I don't know if you saw the feature or not, If, um, but it's out at the moment, so grab the Angling Times, um, and that is it I think, there's no else to say, I don't know what, I'm going on holiday next week for a couple of days, and then it's the next round of the UK Champs, so looking forward to that one, anyway that is it, hope you've enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and keep on bagging, let's get the tat. Did what I had to do just to feed me And what was left over I put towards my dreaming But the only thing in life that has meaning Are the things you gotta work for, believe me Hi guys, Take thanks for tuning in on the video If you want to see more videos, hit this awesome playlist down here like Make no sure you hit the subscribe button And if you want to become a member, hit the join button Thanks for watching the video guys We'll see you soon, keep on bagging